Welcome back to another video. Today's video, we're bringing it back to the videos that you guys love seeing from us, which are juicy topics, Q and A's, sit down videos, all that good stuff. It's been a long time and I actually miss filming these types of videos. These yeah. are my favorite types of videos. Yeah, I think because they're the most entertaining. Yeah, they're most entertaining, most we laugh at. So today's video is answering your TMI questions about our relationship as well as relationships in general. Your questions are always really funny and really good. So we have a lot so, of good ones this time. So pretty much how she did it was she asked her followers on Instagram, which you guys should be following us on Instagram. And I actually just discovered what TMI means. Too Which, much information. Too much information. If you guys didn't know, TMI means too much information. First question is, has working together impacted your relationship negatively? Okay. That, so that. for anyone that doesn't know, we used to have separate jobs. Like Dawood worked at the restaurant. Yeah. I worked on social media, so and we had separate incomes, separate jobs, we didn't see each other during the day, and then... Yo, those were good times. I like those times. <laughs> I know, I never used to see you at all. I would see her at nighttime. I know. So then we started our business, yes. started Ferris, he and quit then his job. I quit my job, a lot of work happened. Combined. And then combined, and yeah. So, That's has it been tough. good? <laughs> it's, it's, honestly... What's, okay, what's your opinion? My opinion is... It's difficult to mix work and li regular life because you know you see each other all the time. So let's say something pops up, like something happened or something pops up for the business. You right away like get to the point right there and then it just becomes your life. And like we try to balance out work and life situations, but it's really, really tough because things always happen to us 24-7. Yeah, so like work-life balance is really difficult when you're working with your partner, because especially when you work from home, because there is no separation between home time and relationship time and like work time. It's always mixed up. So like you'll be watching Netflix and like chilling, and then you'll get an email and then you'll start discussing that about work. Or like a and thought then, pops up in your mind, yo, we should yeah. start doing this. And then she'll be like, shut up, it's not time to work <laughs> and i'm like oh man but i'm gonna forget this thought. i'm like a huge advocate about separating um like work from your daily life uh, especially if you work from home and with your partner so i always try to push that because i know how bad it can get if you mix them often but he's the type that's like no we gotta hustle we gotta work on this 24 7. yeah i believe the first like five years of business is when you gotta put your full time and effort into it especially when you're an entrepreneur there's no like nine to five but guys there's something that a lot of you guys might not know or might not think is a big deal but it's not like we're only running a business we're also making content youtube that's why you haven't seen us on youtube as often as we used to because we had to sacrifice it because of our business TikTok, Instagram, if you guys aren't following us on TikTok, we're almost at a million followers. <laughs> <laughs> so, and then we just have, you know, regular, like, I want to go get groceries. I want to sleep in. I want to eat. Like, eating is that. like, you know. So, yeah, it's it's been tough, but alhamdulillah, we're... We're very thankful, yeah, obviously. We're thankful. We love what we do, but it just can get tough between us. Like, I always snap at him. He can snap at me. That kind of stuff, but we get through it. Yes, yeah, so we're, good. we're good. Second question is, how do you deal with having to wash your hair to do ghusl all the time when you're married? So for anyone who doesn't know what ghusl means, it's basically <laughs> like the shower that you take after, for example, oh. doing the deed <laughs> or your period. After you finish your period, you do that ghusl as well. So it's basically just like a shower that you do after just to purify your body um, and to clean yourself. So I didn't think that was a struggle. Well, I think for girls, a lot of girls think that's a struggle because we don't like to wash our hair every single day, right? Like, yeah. it, it's not good for your hair. It strips some moisture from your hair. So I can definitely see how this is this is an issue on a lot of people's minds. Like, they're like, oh, what, are we gonna, what am I going to do when I get married? I have to take the shower every single day. The reality is, is if you're doing it every single day, you're going to have to do a lesson every single day. <laughs> so <laughs> that's the reality. So you, you can't you, get around. you girls don't like to wash your hair? It's not like that we don't like water. to wash our hair. Like you don't have to shampoo your hair. I'm just yeah. trying to strips away the moisture. But water is water. It's just water. Some people like their hair if they wet it. It's like a whole routine of like oh, putting yeah, product in hair. and like whatever. And like some people have very curly hair. Like it's not easy to shower your hair or wet your hair all the time. So. No wonder your hair always stinks, and your hijabs. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Has there ever been a super serious fight between you guys? No. Yeah, we've had serious fights. You're not supposed to tell people that. There hasn't been like a super serious fight. Where what, we're what, like, what is super like, serious? I feel, I feel like What's super, super serious? I think you? I feel like super serious is like, I don't. I want a divorce. I never want to see okay, your no, face that's... again. I, I don't want to be with you. Uh, you did this, this, that. I can't take it anymore. I think that's a more of a serious fight. But there's also there's obviously like 
fights that happen that are resolvable. We've never been in a situation where we're like, hey, no. Jasmine, I can't talk to you anymore. I don't want to talk to you for 10 days. No, but we've lo- had fights that topped our other fights. You know what I mean? Like every time a fight tops the other, we're like, yeah, no. <laughs> but it's never, but it's never like to the point where it's like a super serious, like, uh, relationship ending fight type of mm-hmm. thing. It's no, more no, like alhamdulillah. alhamdulillah. She loves me more than I love her, which is perfect. So perfectly we're good. fine. Yeah, it's perfectly totally. fine. <laughs> <laughs> the next question is: Is navigating intimacy with your partner for the first time natural or just really awkward? So I think I can answer this question. Um, I don't know. I, I can't speak for him, but for me, it was a mix of both. Like you do get a sense of like, oh, I kind of know what I'm doing because this is like naturally what what you're supposed to be doing kind of thing in a relationship. But you can't shake the fact that it's kind of awkward and you kind of feel out of place because it's your first time doing it. And that's with anything, like the first time you tie your shoes or the first time you drive a car or whatever, it's always going to be weird and unfamiliar for you. Um, And mix that with the fact that you're feeling vulnerable at the same time could be like a mixture of like really awkward. But... Yeah, in my in, in my opinion, for me, that was my experience. But what really helps is having like an understanding partner, and it's not just like, <laughs> and it's not just like, hey, take off your clothes, let's see, let's see what you got. Like it's not like that. You know what I mean? Like I feel like people guys think, do not do that. I feel like people think like that's what like um, your first night is like, oh, like no. where it's just like, okay, chop chop, what kind of dance are you gonna do for me? Like no, it's no. not like that. It's really like it's supposed. Well, it's not supposed to be like that. I don't know. Okay, first people, of all, but, it's not like. What you see in the movie is supposed no. to be like romantic and like no, it could still be like romantic. romantic, yeah, but not like like it's over it's overrated. I think we tend to um, yeah, like make it overrated. No, no, I think we tend to like make it bigger in our head than what it actually is because of what the media shows us, like what relationships and intimacy should look like. And then when you're actually in the moment, you're like, oh, really? Like like that wasn't that bad, you know what I mean? Like it's not as yeah. scary as it. it's yeah. not as awkward i don't think yeah i don't think it was awkward at all i don't think do you think like the natural element kicks in the natural element kicks in because first of all you're you're doing it with someone that you love and you've you've been around for a long time and we've been engaged for two years before we were married and during that two-year phase like you're getting to know the person you're understanding the person so i think it was natural that helped a lot, it yeah. was not awkward but like if you were in a situation i say like you got married you get to got to know the person and you, get you got married, married right, right away. away and all that then yeah maybe it won't be natural maybe it'd be like oh my god like i barely know this person or you think mm. you know this person um, but I think love and attraction makes everything a lot more natural. Yeah. Yeah. So I, agree. I don't, I don't think, I don't think it was awkward. No. Awkward. <laughs> <laughs> but this, the, the conversation is definitely awkward. <laughs> Are there any annoying habits you've had to adjust to after marriage with your partner? Go. <sighs> what? I've got a lot. <laughs> really? First of all. Dawood, I didn't know this beforehand, okay? Dawood likes to walk around the house barefoot, no socks, no shahada, no slippers, no nothing, with his freaking feet going <laughs> against the tile floors, and it annoys me so Whoa. much. Why? I hate the feeling of like feet, like raw feet. Oh, raw chicken feet. Socks. Are you wearing socks right now? I wear shahata. Yeah, but you're not wearing socks. No, I'm saying I, you have to wear something. Either socks or shahata. You know what's funny? It's so true because I'm not wearing any socks right now or shoes or anything. He so always has his outfit. crusty feet on the floor. Just sweeping up the okay, floor but, every day. But it's all good. No, it's not. Because then he lifts his feet up on the bed and they're so crusty. <laughs> and I'm like, I'm like, what is that? He's like, oh, nothing, nothing. So, like, why? Why is that? Okay, and then, and then when he needs a shahata, okay, when he needs his slippers, he's showering. He needs his slippers. Where's my slippers? And he can't find it. And okay, I'm, but that, this is the other day, I'm like, why aren't you wearing your slippers? And he says, I don't know where it is. As he jumps over them to walk to the other side. He literally Bro, did a little right skip now? over <laughs> them. And he said, I didn't see them. <laughs> okay, why are you exposing me right I even, now? I even told his mom this. And I was like, I don't understand like how he walks around without slippers on. When? That went in Canada when I was talking to your mom, and then she's like, I know. She was like complaining with me. So. Yeah, but I think everyone in my family but my mom does that. Yeah, your mom always has slippers on. Always. She <laughs> takes naps in the middle of the day. There you go. That's super annoying. Like, it'd be like, 
it'd be like two like we just woke up like let's say at 9 p.m or 10, 10 9 a.m or 10 a.m or something she'll go to sleep at like one o'clock <laughs> take a nap and, like a a mid- and like it's in the middle of the day because we're filming at night like as you can see it's dark she likes good lighting we always because she takes these naps it always ends up being like about to get dark to take so content. you're blaming our lack of good content on me our no our content's awesome Mm-hmm. Our, our content lack of good awesome. lighting on me yes thanks yes and she's the type if it's not perfect lighting forget it we're not filming anything we're not doing anything done so that's so two, that's, that's, that's two complaints that's two complaints hmm what else um you never do your laundry i always have to fold the laundry actually i fold my own laundry I fold you laundry. do the laundry yeah. no you just crumple it up and go this is your laundry and then i have to refold it <laughs> He does the laundry, though. I'll give him credit for well, that. As of right now, I'm put on the spot, and I can't think of any more pet peeves I That's have enough, buddy. That's, that's too many. Yeah, but those are so that's small. one too many. The next question is, are there days where you wish you weren't married? Oh, no. Really? No. Never? I'm so happy that I'm married. Never? I, not even like I one even... second you're like, oh, I wish I didn't no. marry this girl. No, no. Never, ever, ever, ever. Why, you do? Well, that's awkward. I'm just kidding. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, no, I've never. Even like during our worst fights, I've never for a second like had that thought in my head. Never. Like, oh, I wish I wasn't married. I'm like Because that doesn't solve anything. I me. can't ever even, I can't even remember what my life was before I was married. I know, me too. Like, I can't picture my life without you. Aw, me at too. All. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> okay, next question is, what scares you the most about having a baby? Ooh. That's a good one. Okay. If you guys don't know, we've we are probably the, like the most scared couple on planet Earth in terms of having kids. Am I that scared? Come on, I'm not that scared. I'm petrified. Yeah, she okay. Jasmine, like, before we get to, right into the topic, Jasmine, sh- she's so scared to give birth because <laughs> the only thing she's thinking about is not the birth part. It's about pooping in front of me. I don't want to poop on the baby. <laughs> And at, the, and at the same time, forget that. I've never even heard or smelt or heard her fart in my life. So she's so scared of that. The first time happening. I'm in, actually more in the birth scared room. about pooping than the actual birth. And I'm not kidding you. I'm not kidding you. That's all she thinks about. And I'm like, man, it's not a big deal. And now, now like, if she, if it does happen when she's giving birth, I'm not going to tell her. <laughs> yeah, right. You'll hold it against no, me no, for the no. rest I of will, my life. I will tell you. Yeah, you would. But are you I, are you scared? Like other than that, I think what scares me the most, other than pooping while I'm giving birth, is um, I'm not really scared of like the pain. Like that does scare me, but but I know that I can handle it. But because we our bodies are meant to do that. But I think what scares me the most is not being able to mentally handle having a child. Um, having it affect our relationship and our communication because I know it can I add a lot of stress. I think that's the real test too. Yeah. I feel like that part right there is the real test for our yeah. relationship because when a baby comes involved, it's a whole different, it's ball a whole game. different ball game. Your whole life changes. Uh, our relationship might change. And like, you know, you say you can, you're going to be able to do this, this, this. Yeah. But like it's when it comes, to, when you come into that, you might forget the things that you wanted to do. So all right, future Dawood, if you are watching this, just remember. To- Change a diaper. <laughs> change a diaper okay you cut me off but just remember to treat your wife the way you always treated her before you guys had a baby yeah anyways we'll see you inshallah for the next video um we love you guys bye now bye